Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Founders Fortune. We took a, uh, a brief look at this when it was on uh, itch.io uh, a little while ago, but as of today, as this video goes live, a few hours ago by the time this video comes out I think, uh, it has gone into early access on Steam, so you're now able to pick it up over on Steam, I'll pop a link in the description. Uh, and yeah, let's dive in. This one, I like the look of this one, but I did want to wait till it was a little bit more fleshed out maybe. Uh, so we're going to go into an exciting world and we can pick two people to start off with. I'm thinking farming is important. Perfect, Fritz. And also probably forestry to start off with. So I'm going to keep clicking here until we get some forester points. Uh, forester and miner, that'll do. Uh, Agatha. So Fritz and Agatha are our two start off little uh, founders, I guess, for want of a better word. And they're going to sort of hang out there until we get... Uh, I didn't mean to click. Until we get some other people joining us. So let's have a look. Have we got a... Uh, looks like we haven't got an enemy village anywhere close. Oh, is that is that one? I can never remember what they look like as to whether or not that's going to be one or that's just a bit of stone and stuff. Let's have a look. There we go. Bonfire. Yeah, 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 I know. I think, I think we're okay for enemy villages nearby, so that's good. All right, so we'll have this sort of opening here as our started off point. First things first, we need a, a bonfire. This is basically like a, like a village center. It's like a village town hall. Uh, we can go here, and I'll have a think about that. And they will... They should start working on that, right? Oh, we've got to actually tell them to do it. Come on, then. Good stuff, they'll get working on that. Okay, uh, wish fulfilled, good. So all of these have wishes, very similar to The Sims, this bit. It reminds me of The Sims a lot. So good food, yes, they have food, and they own a sleeping spot. So that's the next thing to do. To start off with, we're just going to place them down on the ground here, by the fire. And then we will take ownership of each of them. There we go, so now they, they have their sleeping spot. And that's pretty much all they need right now. Um, but they are going to need somewhere to access said food. So we'll, uh, oops, we'll put that down just there. And the next thing is they need to research, they need a research book stand, which is here, research book stand. Now that has to be indoors. So we're a little bit way off that one just now. So um, I'm gonna get one of you gathering cotton. No, Agatha, you were at, where's your special specialities? Yeah, you're a forestry. You, you need to do forestry, sorry. So you become a forester. There we go. Yep. Fritz. Um, oh, hello. We've got a migrant already. Nice. Uh, Fritz, I want you to become a farmer. Uh, and you can go and gather that cotton while you're waiting for anything else to turn up. Okay, so who's here? Is, oh, there he is. There she is. He is, yeah. Uh, okay. Do we have to send somebody over to do it? Ah, uh, there we go. Accept migrants. We need all the help we can get. We've got one of young costs, and there we go. Colin has joined Lucas. Let's have a look at your roles. You are also a bit of a farmer, but you can be our all-round guy. Let's make you... Um, crafts, all the craftsmen, your settler produces all the goods in order to... No, for now we'll have you as a miner. Mm -hmm. Okay, get up, please. Let's get you mining some stone. There we go. And then also we'll get you your bed down, ready for tonight. Somebody should come and make that. There we go, perfect. Okay. So the main thing we haven't really got coming in right now is food, but I think we're, we're low on cotton, right? now. there's the cotton. Uh, can we take ownership of that? There we go, and I'll carry on mining for now. Okay, good. So yeah, so we need some food coming in. Uh, yep. Is that food? No. Have we got any food nearby? I can see cotton. I can't see any berries of any sort, which is a little bit of a worry. So I'll tell you what, let's... Um, how much wood have we got? 95. Maybe the research centre uh, needs to sort of be in operation pretty soon then. So here we go. So we have simple wood wall, clean wood wall. Simple uses less stuff. We also have stone, lots of lovely stone and thatch and all sorts, look eventually. 
fortifications, floors, some basic floor start off with doors, yes, windows, yes, and a simple pillar, okay. So we'll start off with some simple wood floor. And we'll have, don't want to build it there, I'll come a little bit away from here. So here's, how's the walls work, hold on. Uh, walls. If we do that, what's the door like? Right. So let's do... Let's do something like that. There we go. Now you know my problem is I spend far too long making stuff look good rather than what it needs to do, which is just work, you know. Window, window, and then inside there we can build our research little desk. There we go. There we are. And then tomorrow, that's tomorrow's job. Agatha, you up, are you? Okay, well, once you've all had something to eat, can you all get over here and start working on that? Oh, it automatically does a roof. That's good. I did wonder about roofs last time. So if you zoom out, you can see the roof. That's that's neat. I like that. Food-wise, 34 on the food. That's okay. I definitely think farming is a need to... is an, is, a, is what we need to do. So, research, um, farming. Shelter, shelf for food from the campfire. Campfire, soil for tomatoes, soil for potatoes. Yes, that one, please. Thank you. I'm guessing we can't actually do it. We need, oh, we need crystals, right? Didn't we have to get, get hold of some crystals to research, if I remember rightly? There is a village over here, so we're going to keep away from those just now. Uh, oh, there's quite a large village over here. Okay, so we're going to keep away from those just now as well. So I think this... In that case, this is probably our, uh, our safer set of crystals to go for. So as soon as you're all done now, um, miner. Yep. I guess a miner is probably the best to gather crystals. Let's send you over there, speed up the game a little. There we go. There we go. So now you guys go and carry on doing what you're doing, do you? Awesome. That's what we want. Lucas is going to get hold of some crystals. Need crystals for research. Yep, yeah, we're on it. I think five crystals, right? Let's have a look. Yes, five crystals for farming research. So we'll let him smash through them tonight. Until he's done. That's three. Okay. One of you is having a little snooze. That's all right. I mean, they are just having to, like, kick. <laughs> kick the wood till it breaks down at the moment. And I imagine you're doing the same, just booting it until we've got what we need. Okay, so you can stop doing that now, Lucas. And in fact, you can come over here and uh, analyze crystal. So we have selected farming, so there we go. So the way this works is then if you give them a job to do, they will automatically go and do that job as much as they can. Or you can set anyone to go and do anything, really. That's the main thing. Um, so there we go. See, Agatha here is a woodwork, uh, a, a lumberjack, so they will just go and get hold of wood. Fritz here is a farmer, so will farm as and when. Um, Lucas is actually a miner, but we've given him the sort of job here to go. I love that how the walls go up and down. That's really neat. Um, so he will automatically go and analyze crystals until farming is available. Expects so a little more from his colony. Okay, what would you like? Um... Life satisfaction, level one. Sleeps inside. Okay, so life satisfaction. Quite sure how we do anything about that. Oh, here we go. Sit on chair. Satisfaction points. Okay. Defeat a tiki goblin. Okay. So, Fritz, you can, you can come and sleep if you want, pal. Might as well. It's the middle of the night. No, he's up. He's up, look. We're beginning to start to think about running low on food, so we desperately need some farms. There's some berries, look. Oh no, they're healing plants. Ah, there's very little berries on it. Maybe there isn't berries, maybe that's it. Maybe you've got to get farms set up and running quick. Well, that's fine. Two more crystals to go until we're able to. In the meantime, I'm tempted to get Fritz 
Uh, oh, Fritz isn't happy about something. His mood's low. His mood's getting better while he's... Oh, there he goes. Farming unlocked. Good stuff. Okay, let's just pause the game then and think, have a look at farming. So we can now shelf for food from the campfire. Make sure the, this mixture of shelf and basket is ideal place to store food that's been cooked. Okay, so I don't think we have to worry about that just yet. Farming. Here we go. Soil for tomatoes. Tomatoes are good crops and experienced farmers to ensure a stable food supply growing from spring to summer, which we are currently in spring, yeah. And then they are from growing from summer to fall. Okay, so we can't... What do we need there? Stone? Here we don't need much at all, so... Right, let's... Uh, let's kind of go crazy for tomatoes. Because I really don't want to have... Be running out of food. And then, and then we can have two rows of potatoes as well. And that will make a fine farm to start off with. One of you should go, boom, straight over. Unfortunately, you're doing the potato soil first, which isn't ideal. So you're just going random with them, okay. So we need some stone then. Um, we don't actually have a miner, I don't think. Oh no, you Lucas. Have we got the wrong person doing something here? Fritz, oh no, no, Fritz, farmer, Agatha, yeah. Okay, so Lucas, can you start mining some stone? I'm not too worried about crystals just yet. I really want to get that uh, campfire up and running. I think that's probably the next step. There we go. Fritz, Fritz doing a fine farming job there. Lucas getting a little hungry. Need to select research. Oh, I know. Um, I suppose woodworking. What else? Tailoring. Gardening. No, woodworking is going to be, because that's going to give us some simple tools, right? Yeah, okay, so woodworking next, but we're going to hold on. Okay, so now does he go and start tomatoes? Yeah, boy. Get on it, sunshine. Running out of food, I know, but look. I'm hoping these grow relatively quickly, because people are chomping on the apples here. Unless, is it, can, do we have the ability to, no, it's just cut tree. I really did think there was, there was berries early on here. Hmm, cotton, cotton. Have we just been really super unlucky? That's like a mine, right? Yeah, iron ore. Yeah. I can't tell whether we've just been super unlucky or no, genuinely, that's it. Okay, well, they're all having a snooze. That's good. Tomatoes all went in, or tomatoes. And I realise that I'm cutting in between the uh, North American and British pronunciation. Uh, that's because I am British, but I am trying to uh, use North American pronunciation as much as possible for my son. Because uh, he is, he is going to be North American. Well, you know, he's still British, but will grow up North American. Uh, move. How much space can we finish a drag? Uh, okay, yeah, I don't need to move anything just yet. That's fine. Fritz is already having a kit. So, sleeping inside and sitting on a chair uh, is what they want to do. What do you want to do? You want to sleep inside as well. And you want to sit on a chair. Sitting on a chair seems to be a really simple thing. Uh, all right, so do we build a bunkhouse then next, I guess? We've got a lot of wood. Um, we could build a clean wall bunkhouse. And keep it pretty... Uh, pretty simple, something like that. There we go. And pull you down there. Nice. Hello, bug infestation. Oh, colonists need to cut effective plants before the infestation spreads. Okay, so uh, let's get Fritz on that then. Remove all infested plants. Get on it. We'll worry about the building later, Fritz. It's more important is to... Oh, like four of them are on the way out. That's great. Should we have planted more, do you think? And oh, we've got two food in. We, hopefully a trader comes in. We can buy food, right? 
Okay, we'll move the beds over to there eventually, but for now, let's get a door and a few windows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's annoying. We can do like that, I suppose. Uh, bug infestation over. Nice. Okay. And he will replant. Okay, we'll replant. That's good. Yep. So you can come and help construct, as can you. Let's get this building done. See if we can get you indoors for nighttime in the new bunk. We'll speed up time a little. Yeah, they do replant the gaps, that's good. Uh-oh, no food left. So we could really do with either a trader coming in, or let's just try and really make sure I'm not missing stuff. Cheer, dance now. Trader arrived, thank God. Okay, so we need to desperately buy some food off you. Trade. Who's, who's coming over to the trader? Agatha, come on Agatha. Um, colony is selling. No, colony is buying. We want apples. 20 apples is how many coins? The colony does not have 60 coins. No, we don't. We don't have any coins. So what can we sell? Wood? Um, okay, let's sell 40 wood. And... We don't need to gain coins necessarily. Oh well, you gain a lot from them. Okay, he's gaining 30 coins. So let's just sell one of them and less wood, I guess. Or yeah, we'll just buy apples, because pumpkin stew, I don't I don't particularly think we have anything to store from that. There we go. We now have twenty food. That'll have to do for now. Until the uh, tomatoes are ready here. It's raw food, yeah, so that's all to get stored in the one tub, that's good. So we have to hold our button down here. There we go. So now you're all indoors, right? Do we have the ability to make a stool? Yeah, here we go, sit on a chair, wooden stump stool. Oh, and tables as well, nice, okay. Uh, it's a wooden back of a purple spring plant and it smell is very invigorating. Oh nice. So what I'm thinking is we get a uh, We hello low spirits. Okay. Well what we could do is get one of these and put some Put some seating around it right And they should all kind of love that I reckon here we've got look at that that looks like it's growing, man. Yep. Oh, my phone's going crazy. What's going on? Let's have a look. Uh, nope, nothing I need to worry about now. Good. Okay. Yeah, there you have. They've got tom tomatoes on them. Fritz is on the fire. Lucas is at his arm. Nice. Good stuff. Tomato! Oh, yeah, it literally is just one plant. Look. Okay, so farming soil for tomatoes. Let's uh, let's see if we can get another round of those in before the end of the summer. Life isn't being great, so I said today she's taking an easy day and we'll be taking a lot of long breaks. All right, love. I'm hoping he replants. He does replant. Good. Okay, so let's leave that for now and just worry about tomatoes. There we go. So hold on, Agatha. Did you get? Life satisfaction sleeps inside. Do we have to re-tune the beds? No, no. There you go. You're sleeping inside. <gasps> You're not sleeping inside. Look at that. There is one little tiny bit of wall missing. How unfortunate. There we go. Genuinely, that is that the genuinely the thing that's stopping them work inside. Mm -hmm. Can you just do that one little bit of wood and then you can carry on chilling? I don't, you don't need to do that necessarily, or is that just part of construction? I never liked this piece of furniture. Well, you're ungrateful. Where, where's Lucas? You're not getting close to there, Lucas. I, I would rather you not 
I'd rather you come and mine this one, please. Keep yourself away from the tiki men. So, Lucas, get a chair in his house. Right, okay. So, let's have a look what else we've got. Lucas gets a chair in his house. Do you want money? And Fritz just wants to sit in a chair, the poor soul. Okay. Uh, seating. Do we have one that's an actual chair, then? Stool, stool. Stool, stool. I mean, I don't know whether or not... You know, does a, does a bench count? Yeah, bench counts, okay. Yep. Fritz, you still just want to sit on one, right? Sit. There you go. Okay, so, so you need to pay down at least five coins. I don't know how that works, necessarily. Content, content. Fritz would like a payout of coins, but that ain't happening, so... You can do whatever you were going to do now. Cotton, okay. Plenty of cotton in, that's good. I don't know what they use for, but probably clothes and stuff eventually, I guess. So I think, actually then, let's get Lucas doing some more crystal work. Um, and start working on our next bit of research, because we've got a little bit of stone in stock now, but we're not particularly using it that much, to be honest. Uh, Agatha, are you still having a lazy day, are you? I had a bad day recently, but I'm hopeful that it'll get better soon. Okay. Yep. Can you... Tell you what, then. Come and finish these off. Good job. Fritz. Fritz is having a yep. sleep. Lazy so-and-so. Yeah, I think some basic tools will probably be the next thing we start working on because at the moment they're all they're all kicking kicking wood down, which can't be great. So here we go, Fritz. Mm -hmm. What I would like you to do it doesn't tell me anywhere what you're going to do, does it? Unprepared for winter. I'm worried we're not going to have enough food. We should restart preparing for it. Well, come on then. Actually, no, 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 don't do potato, do tomato first. There you go, do all the tomatoes and then do the potatoes, okay? In fact, well, we'll let you do them first and I'm going to put some more tomatoes down, okay? How many crystals we got? Okay, we're doing good on crystals. Lucas, come over here and analyze those crystals that you've kicked off the rock because you are going to get yourself uh, something to eat first. It's fine, we're going to get food, so we are... Yeah, we definitely need some more here. Uh, farming. Potatoes. There we go, do a couple of rows of those. And I'm hoping, once he's finished doing those, he'll move over to these potatoes. Perfect. Excellent work. Okay, good stuff. Uh, research. We've selected woodworking, yet, yeah. And there we go, it's researched one. Nice. Good job. Okay. So look, is there anything we can do here then? S sit on chair. Lucas needs to sit on a chair. So he'll do that when he's ready, I guess. Yep. I'm not, I can't imagine we have to always tell them. No, look, see, he could have gone and sat on this chair then, couldn't he? Let's tell him to do it. Right, now go and sleep. So yeah, I do, yeah, I do, I do worry that that might get a little micromanagey later on, to be honest. Um, when there's more of them. But maybe we only ever have like six people. Maybe that's, that's it. Because the, the floor, the, the island's quite small, to be honest. In the grand scheme of things. Maybe it's more of a, a sort of micromanagey kind of game. Which is fine. If that's what the game's set up to do. I do notice there are a couple of islands. Don't seem to do... It doesn't seem to go that far out though, so yeah, maybe it is a bit more of a sort of micromanagey game. Um, no, Lucas, sorry, I know you are a miner, but I would really like you to come and analyse this crystal, please. Because that's kind of what we need to do. There's only two food left, so Fritz, as soon as you've eaten, out of food. Nice. I'm hoping you come and get to work here. Harvest tomato, yeah, there you go. Good stuff. 
We've gone from running out of food. We've gone from no food to running out of food, which seems like a good, a good mix. Okay, so maybe that four was enough. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's what we needed. Yeah, look, it literally is one for one on these. So I'm hoping once he's got all of them in. He'll start working on these ones. Awesome. That's what we like. Lucas is still doing a bit of research. And Agatha is still chopping down wood. Excellent work. So yeah, next stop is like some sort of workshop, I think. We're back there to running out of food. But that's okay. Now we know what we're doing. We'll probably get another go. Looks like these take about two or three days. So we'll probably get another round of tomatoes that he's going to go and plant now. And then come down here to do potatoes but it does seem like we have to try and get a stock of them in you know because winter doesn't look like there's anything coming in, in winter so I wonder if it's worth woodworking on that's nice is it worth maybe just really pushing like so Is it blocked by itself? There we go. They look like dookies, but that's okay. Uh, need to select research. So let's go for... Uh, so weaponry, wooden sword, furniture one, mm, tailoring, tailoring workshop, armor stand, clothes stand, training, doing gardening, hedge, hedge corner, pot plant. That doesn't seem very useful. I'm going to go for weaponry. Get a, get, a rip, get a weapon on the go. Seems to be a good spot. There's all the tomatoes growing. That's good. This is going straight back to work. Awesome. So what I'm going to actually do is... I wonder if Lucas... Let's have a lot of experience. So you have got experience. Next level, can you stone pickaxe to mine? Will he lose the farm... Will he lose the experience if he becomes a farmer? Let's have a look. Uh, mine... Uh, no, he still keeps the experience. That's good. Okay, I'm going to actually change him to a farmer. Um, just to make, because to really try and get on top of this food issue, okay? Because we are still running out of food. You can carry on getting some wood in. But now what we're going to do is build something that looks after, uh, does your leg hurt? Are you sick? Losing blood? No matter what kind of harm has fallen upon you, a healing potion is always going to do it. Even if it doesn't really cure a condition, at least it numbs the pain. Okay, so we've got these, but I'm assuming this means we can now use them. So that seems like a sensible thing to go in the bunker right now. In the in the in the not the bunker. What the word word am I thinking of? Barracks. Okay, so work carpenter's workshop. Was that that was it for carpentry? Was it? Simple torch on a wall. Oh, I like those. Let's get some of them on. See what they look like. Uh, storage tool rack weapon rack. Incredible crash shoots me. Time design. You never have seen a barrel like it. A tall dresser made of rough wooden planks. Okay. And decoration. We've just got some plant pots. So, we need a building that will have a carpenter's workshop. That's too wide. And then we need storage for a tool rack is one ride and a weapon rack is one ride. Okay. One one wide. A, 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 one a wide. So, uh, let's do a simple wood floor for this one. And we're going to build it over here and we'll get so we'll have three wide entrance there and then we'll bring it down and can we not do because of that right okay what about something like this we'll have a you know what we'll have it like that because it looks a bit funky but I actually think that the, the I like I like the idea that the walls are different the, you know the buildings are different shapes how much stone have we got? Not much. Let's just go for a simple wooden wall. Because this is a... Uh, this is a working building, right? There we got that. We'll have a door on the back as well. And then windows. Let's get some windows in where they're not really going to bother us too much. Uh, there we go. Alright, so... Let's have a look. Work. A workshop wall. Let's, uh, I mean, that makes sense to go there, right? And then, storage wise, we can start here. 
Oh, we realized that used all our wood up. Okay. Well, that's fine, because tools are the main thing we need to start making. And then one of you, unless somebody else is going to come in, one of you needs to start making tools, really. So you're both farmers still. So I'll tell you what then. For now, Agatha, seeing as we have used all the wood that you've collected, I'd like to come down here and build this area instead. And... Yeah, food, man. Bug infestation. Oh, there's loads of luck. That's annoying. We kind of lose. They all go back again. That's harsh, man. Harsh. Okay, Agatha. Doing a good job getting this built. Lucas is... Oh, no. Nasty plants. Look at this. Should we get you both doing it? Is that probably a better idea? Because they, they looks like they're spreading. Oh yeah, they are, look. That's interesting. Maybe we have to get like everyone on this. Oh no, that's pretty much wiped out our potato crops. That's hideous. Yeah, okay, so next time that happens, everyone in the village Gets on, uh, gets on doing it. Okay, so now Agatha, I would like you to. Can we? We can get you to construct those. Yeah, there we go. Bug infestation over. At least some of the tomatoes are still going. A trader would be nice right about now. So our right, Lucas is getting those tomatoes up. Okay. Yeah, tempted to make everyone a farmer for a bit, you know, just to really get on, to keep on top of it, the food problem, which is a problem right now. Um, change to a farmer. Yeah, there you go. Let's just let's just get everyone cooking and eating, running out of food again. Yeah, anything under fifteen, I think it says we're running out of food, so that's okay. We can. The problem is we're not producing more than we're eating right now, so we're always hovering around that zero to fifteen line. So hopefully, that's enough. What I'm interested in with this uh, with this workbench, what we can build with it. Let's have a look. Come to use basic workbench to make simple wooden tools that will make your colonists' job easier. Okay, low spirits all around. Um, reach level one as a miner, that ain't happening anytime soon. You want to earn money. You all want to earn money. So, mood and hunger is a problem, but it's okay. We've got we've got tomatoes in there. Look, people will... Spirits are going to get up as people eat. I don't know why your mood's low. Your health's fine, your stamina's fine, your hunger's fine. And you're satisfied. Oh no, you're not quite, are you? But look there, look. I don't think this colony has a future. Why not? You're miserable. No, 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 Agatha. We do not want you to do cotton. Can we turn that off? Gather cotton. There we go. I'll tell you when I want you to gather cotton. There we go. Harvest apples. Yeah, it must be a different kind of tree. It's these ones here, look. Apple tree. Quite near that thing there. I knew there was a way of getting more food straight off. Okay, well you, you, you be, you're doing a better job now. You're getting everything planted. That's fine. Uh, mm, do you know what, I'd, Lucas? I'd rather you plant tomatoes. To be honest, my friend, I do appreciate you trying to get this building done, but we can totally wait on this. Food is a priority, because as we go into autumn, that's it then. In fact, whether or not these tomatoes will even grow, I don't know. I'm hoping they know when to not keep sowing them, you know? Because there's no point, like, in another day or two, they're not going to They're gonna go in time. Unless it's they can har you can plant them in the summer, and they'll still harvest, I don't know. But yeah, your main gar your main job now is, is to store food, okay? That's it, potatoes are fine. Potatoes go in there as well. Yeah, that's good. Baked apple, baked potato. Connors will take baked food over raw food every time. Connors with happy thoughts from eating cooked food. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe it's worth us... We haven't got the wood for one of those, but maybe it's worth getting a 
Are you, oh, you're having a day off, aren't you? Lazy. Right. Okay, that looks better. That looks better. Okay, they've all got to sleep. We've got loads of cotton in, so definitely no need to worry about that just now. Okay, I think we're going to have to kind of run like this until we get another colonist. And when another colonist comes in, we can set them to start making some tools and hopefully sort of speed up these processes a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's good. I I'm enjoying this, I think. I think there's a series here, so I uh, hope you do as well. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one, please. And uh, let me know if you get it yourselves. Like I said, I'll pop the link in the description. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.